Hey Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in. So here we have a general message for your sign. This may or it may not resonate with every single one of you watching. Okay, again, it is general. So just take it how it fits. If it does, great. If it doesn't, then, you know, maybe it's just not for you and that's okay too. All right, guys, but we're going to start up here at the top with your Oracle messages. Then we'll get into the actual reading and we'll um, also talk about some of these advice messages from Spirit at the end, okay? So um, coming out first here, we have retreat and it says that it's time to disconnect from the world, all right? So either you or this person, somebody here maybe left this uh, situation, ghosted it, could be the silent treatment happening here or you guys just aren't really communicating basically, all right? Now next we also have new love and it says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, okay? So for a small group of you, there could be a new person in the picture, okay? Somebody that you're interested in or they're trying to get to know you, whatever the case is. But I also feel for others of you, it's like you're dealing with someone, okay, where they keep leaving or you keep leaving and then somebody wants to keep coming back here trying to give this another go, okay? Now, we also have keep an open mind and it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. All right, guys, so let's start with your energy first, Capricorn. You guys have the Nine of Pentacles and the Magician here, okay? Some of you, yeah, you may be single, all right? Maybe even um, playing a little bit hard to get here, but it is somebody that you've got your eye on, okay? Somebody does have your interest here and I think that you may wanna manifest something still with them or still um, put your energy into this basically, all right? Now, they have the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups. They do want you, okay? They do wanna talk too, but I feel like uh, this person can be a little bit cold or detached here with the Queen of Swords, maybe a little bit harsh with their communication, but I feel like they do want to speak their truth, okay, about what their expectations are or um, the fact that they do desire you and they want to invest in this connection, but maybe they are a little, again, too cold with how they talk or is something that's just a little insensitive about this person, okay? I hope that makes sense. Now, um, you guys have the Three of Swords and Three of Wands. Some of you are dealing with a third party situation. Maybe somebody else is involved here. Somebody could be married, could have been cheating or deception happening. But the Three of Swords doesn't always mean that, guys. It could just be somebody's feelings are hurt or someone's feeling let down or disappointed, okay? Maybe because someone's waiting possibly here with the Three of Wands, waiting on communication or some sort of clarity, closure, and answer here or some sort of confirmation possibly. Some of you may be dealing with someone who's at a distance from you, a different state or city possibly, okay? Now they've got the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Cups. They do wanna offer something to you though, okay? Some of you, this person may be in love with you. They have a lot of feelings for you or either they like you a lot, but they're also feeling very challenged by this connection with the um, Nine of Wands, okay? Those of you that have known them for a while or if this is an ex or somebody that you have history with, I think that Again, they feel like uh, the connection has been a little bit rocky and difficult, okay, but they're not ready to completely give up yet, okay? Now, you guys also have the Emperor and the Justice card. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Libra or a legal situation here. It could be divorce, child support, a lawsuit, whatever the case is for some of you, but um, I think you just want things to balance out here, okay? The, the Justice card is all about fairness. It also represents karma, okay? Some of you, this could be a soul tie connection or a karmic partner here, but um, I feel like you're keeping your cool here, okay, with the Emperor energy, maybe being a little bit nonchalant. You don't want to look too vulnerable here or too needy, so you're just kind of um, either laying low or just playing things cool here, maybe to see how this person's going to come towards you or if they are at all. All right, now, um, your person here, they've got the star card and the eight of cups. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? They do wanna heal this connection, whatever sign they are, okay? They still got faith in it and hoping that things can work out here. This is a wish card, but okay, this person may also feel like they may just need to turn their back here if um, you're not gonna cooperate with the situation or if you don't you know, wanna take any action, they may feel like they need to just walk away and turn their back, okay? With the, uh, with the Eight of Cups. Now, you guys also have the Two of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you, some of you might be avoiding them, okay? Uh, with the Two of Swords, this could be, you know, uh, representing that you 
are just not wanting to make a decision a decision right now this is a card of indifference okay so some of you maybe you just don't care or this could be you feeling a little bit stuck here and just trying to figure something out maybe whether or not you should be the one to uh, reach out first okay with the uh, knight of pentacles but you're taking your time here okay you might be moving very slowly or you're just kind of uncertain here if you should say something okay um now they also have the queen of cups and the king of cups wow we got a pair there okay some of you might be married to them or you guys are actually in a committed relationship now as we speak but they do care about you okay that's a lot of loving energy there they do have feelings for sure okay so um yeah intuitively guys i feel like they don't want to walk away from this connection but they may feel like they need to kind of get some space or give you your space or again if you're not going to get on board here they may need to just kind of walk away all right so um let's talk about where things are headed here soon we've got the temperance and the knight of cups some of you could be dealing with a sagittarius okay this is about patience okay somebody waiting for something maybe a love offer um, a text message, somebody may be wanting to uh, go out, you know, go on a date or whatever it is, Valentine's Day, okay? So somebody could be waiting on some sort of communication here. We also have the High Priestess and the Six of Pentacles. Somebody's hiding something though. It could be money or a gift or something of that sort here. All right, with the High Priestess, it can represent a silent um, kind of withdrawn energy as well. So somebody could be ghosting this connection, okay? Or just I don't know, being kind of quiet here and pulling back. All right, guys, we also have the Eight of Cups that came out again and the Knight of Wands. So um, like I said at the beginning of the reading, guys, up here with this um, energy here, somebody is leaving, okay? Walking away, but comes right back, all right? With the Knight of Wands, somebody cannot stay away from this connection. Maybe there's a lot of attraction here, chemistry. Maybe it's, you know, very sexual, lustful connection. I don't know, but somebody is not ready to fully um, leave this alone. We've also got the Eight of Swords and the Tower. Watch out for this, guys. Could be a blow up happening, okay? And maybe not anything like super devastating, okay? It could be um, some sort of unexpected event or, um, you know, some sort of shock or disappointment here. Maybe somebody can't make it or something gets canceled or something like that, okay? But yeah, and you know, with the Eight of Swords here, this does represent someone not being able to do something, okay? So somebody could have some sort of restriction. Maybe they can't, uh, you know, get off of work early enough or it could be something else here, all right? But somebody does feel a little bit bound or trapped here, which is creating some uh, tower energy. All right, guys, so let's talk about your advice messages from Spirit really quickly. It may pertain to this situation, might not, just take it how it resonates, but we've got sharing of yourself, and it says, I am an incredibly generous being, okay? We also have revealing radiance, and it says, my inner, uh, sorry, my light illuminates the world, and it says, um, looking deeper, and this reads, deep within me is a majestic radiance, so some of you need to open yourself up more here, okay? Either within this partnership or just something else in your life, you need to kind of come out of your shell is uh, what I'm seeing here. Okay, guys, I'm not sure if this is a pearl coming out of a shell or whatever the case is, but some of you, if it's not about a relationship, it could just be, it could be creativity or talents or gifts that you guys have that maybe you need to start revealing or showing to other people, putting out there more, okay? So somebody's got to um, kind of stop being too shy or so shy here or um, meek and, you know, again, just kind of step into their power or their confidence and uh, show themselves a little bit more either to the world or whatever this is about. Okay, guys, so I hope that made sense. And again, it may not resonate with all of you, but if it did, feel free to get in the comments and um, or like, share, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, okay? I appreciate you guys tuning in, Cappies. Talk to you next week. Take care.